It's good to see you again. In this lesson, we're going to discuss the author's thoughts on sex and how it applies to our own lives. It's important to approach this topic with sensibility and avoid getting caught up in extreme viewpoints. Align your own experience with those of the authors, being mindful to apply the principles they're describing for you. They're using sex as a mean for describing all relationships. As you reflect on your experiences, you may find yourself fluctuating between extremes depending on the circumstances in your own life. However, the authors emphasize that they do not want to be the judge of anyone's sex conduct. They firmly state their intention to stay out of this controversy and encourage you to focus on your own growth and transformation. One key aspect the authors address is our tendency to be selfish, dishonest, or inconsiderate in all our relationships. They remind us to examine our behavior, assess whom we may have hurt, and identify areas where we may have been at fault. This introspection helps us understand our own mistakes and make amends where necessary. They encourage us to seek God's guidance in developing these ideals and to rely on His power to live up to them. The authors emphasize the importance of willingness to grow toward our ideals. We must be open to making amends where we've caused harm, but we should also be cautious not to create future harm in the process. This approach applies not only to sex, but to any other problem in our lives. By asking God for guidance in each specific matter, we can receive the right answers and solutions. It's vital to genuinely want these answers and be receptive to them. We must be willing and approach prayer and meditation with sincerity and truth. Remember, the goal is not to judge or control others, but to focus on your own transformation. Take the time to reflect on these insights and consider how they apply to your own life.